Just a minute. You're terrible. If you try any of those phony tricks in Rattlesnake Gulch, they'll run you out quicker than they did in the last place. I didn't get us run out of that last place. It was your fault. Now, if you hadn't got mixed up with that dance hall girl, we'd have still been there. I got mixed up with her. You forget, my boy, that it was you with the young lady when the vigilantes asked us to leave town. And we ought to stay away from her. But chasing after every good-looking dame you see ain't gonna get you any place. Time we cut it out and tried to make something of ourselves. Well, that's the first sensible thing you ever said. Now, the thing for you to do is to ignore them. But how can I? Ever since I've been able to tip my hat, women have had a weakness for me. Well, don't tip your hat. Don't even talk to them. Say, hey, that's an idea. It's talk that always gets you into trouble with a woman. They always think you mean more than you say. Why, all you gotta do is say good morning, and they think you wanna get hitched. From now on, I'm deaf and dumb to all of them. Now you're talking, that's a great idea. You'll save me a lot of trouble if you really mean it. Absolutely. Yep, a passenger and some mail. Oh, boy, take a look at that. I gotta do something about that. I thought you said you were deaf and dumb to all of them. That's the trouble with you, Kansas. You haven't any willpower. What do you mean, no willpower? When I say a thing, I mean it. But you just said that you were deaf and dumb as far as women were concerned. That's right. And it still holds good. Good. You allow me? Certainly, thank you. Hurry up. I'm uh, John Scott, heading for the Rodeo at Rattlesnake Gulch. Oh, how do you do? I am Juanita Rivero. My home is there. Oh, well, that's great. Maybe I'll be able to see a lot of you while I'm there. Are you a rodeo star? Well, not exactly, although uh, I did pick up some money at the Cheyenne and Pendleton shows this year. Is your friend here? Is he a rodeo star? Him? A rodeo star? I should say not. That's Kansas Charlie. He's my, uh, he's my ward. He's a poor deaf and dumb guy. I just carry him along to take care of my saddles and stuff. Oh, that is too bad. How did it happen? Why, uh, he was scalped by Indians when he was a baby. Never regained his power of speech. Wait till he takes his hat off. He's bald as a goat. See, the poor fellow's trying to talk, but that's the best he can do. Well, women or no women, I'm not going to sit here and let you insult me like that. I am not bald-headed. It's only a high forehead. Well, well, it's a positive miracle. They always told me that a sudden shock would restore his speech, but I didn't think he'd turn out to be half-witted. Now, that's the first forehead I ever saw that ran clear to the back of the neck. Why, you... Oh, Kansas. There's a lady present. You see, miss, he's practically a nitwit. Nitwit? Say, I got more brains than this fellow will ever have. Now, what you need is a man to protect you. Somebody that's going to get ahead in the world. Ah, you got too much class for these small town fellas. You need a man that's been around oh. and... Oh, thanks, Kansas, for the build-up. I think you're putting it a little strong. I'd rather the young lady found out a few of the things for herself. I wasn't talking about you. I was referring to myself. Modest, isn't he? A regular shrinking vibe. Then, if you are all this thing, you must be very rich. Oh, yes, yes. Barely rolling in wealth. Most of the time. Of course, I don't carry it with me while I'm traveling. There's plenty of money waiting for me at the Rattlesnake Gulch Casino. Now, if you want to play a sure thing, Juanita, stay away from this guy and make a bet on me. You'll wear diamonds. Oh, that would be very nice. I should say it would. This is my house. This is where I get off. Yeah. 
I will see both of you while you are here. I'll, I'll say you will. will. It'll bet tonight. I'll be out at Juanita. Well, you may be out, Kansas, but not with Juanita. I think you better stick to your gamble. When I come out of your hero of this rodeo with all that prize money, you won't stand a chance. Paying them close to your chest, too. You got mixed up in this chiseling rodeo outfit. I had to settle for 25 cents on the dollar. My award money. That's right. I got 82.50 for the 350 I had coming. And those boys out there in that bulldogging contest will be lucky if they get anything. Oh, is that so? I'll be back in a minute, boys. So they've cleaned you out already, huh? And you're coming back to me for money. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, well, you don't get it. I need all my dough for that date with Juanita tonight. Now, wait a minute. This is serious. I'm not clean, but you are. Some of the boys would tell me that they're paying off the prize money two bits on the dollar. And some of the guys that come in late ain't gonna get any. That means you, pal. Oh, is that so? Well, we'll just see about that right now. Cold feet? And all that money waiting in the till? No, no feet. I'm all right. We'll wait till he come out. I got nine hundred dollars in prize money coming, Farnsworth, and I'll collect it right now. I ain't denying the money's due you, Scott, but this show's breaking mighty tough for us. It ain't paying out like we expected, so we're giving the boys 25 cents on the dollar. Not me, you know. 
You'll make it a hundred percent. Nine hundred dollars? I should say not. I'll give you two fifty and not a cent more. It's nine hundred dollars, Farnsworth, no less. Now don't try to get tough with me, Scott. I'm stretching it to even give you two fifty. You'd better take it or you'll have to go without a cent. It's still nine hundred dollars. Kansas, count nine hundred dollars out of that money in the safe and we'll get out of here. Don't come out till you hear our horses leave. Get away from that pole. Get behind the counter and shell out those receipts. Come on, give me that money. Sounded like it's near our day office. Come on, fellas. Sheriff. You keep your mouth shut. Let me do the talking. What? You say, Sulfan? Yeah. Farnsworth. What happened? What happened? Believe me. Why, I saw Scott and Kansas Charlie the Gambler coming out of the office right after the shots were fired. Well, they must be the ones who did it. Yeah. You take a look over at the gambling casino, and I'll have the boys get mounted. Come on, boys. What are you getting all flicked up for? I got a date with Juanita. Too bad you ain't gonna be able to keep it. Yeah, who says I ain't? I do. Yeah. Do you think she'd have anything to do with a sheep herder like you? With a man of the world like me to be had? Just the same, you aren't gonna keep that date. Hey, who's gonna stop me? I am. What are you? Oh. 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 Ain't over at the casino, Sheriff. All right, boys, let's go down to Shack. As I said before, it's too bad you can't keep that date tonight. Why, you... Uh, but I'll give her a little chubby for you, Kansas. Here's one of them already tied up for us. I tell you, Sheriff, I didn't do it. Why, well, I can make mine too easy at the gambling table without going in for murder. Well, that's what you say.
Maybe we can try him this afternoon and hang him right away and save the county the expense of feeding him. Oh, Sheriff, you can do one thing for me, will you? What's that? Take my bankroll and my watch and give them to Juanita. Well, I reckon we can do that all right. Put him on a horse, boys. Just a minute, Sheriff. Drop those guns. Now throw down that roll and watch. Now just start out and keep going. I'm getting out of here for Poker City tonight. Getting scared? I don't think I'd tell the sheriff that you was the one that done the shooting. We're pals. We got to stick together, kid, huh? The fact is, I'm going right along with you when you go to Poker City tonight. Oh, uh, listen, Pete, I'm only going over there to lay low for a while at my sister's place. Yeah? Well, I'm going right along. Don't think I know that some of the richest shipments of gold go out on that Poker City stage? I'm not interested in that. Well, you're going to be. You want me to keep my mouth shut? Well, I'll meet you at my shack tonight. You've got to say goodbye to my lady friend. You know, Pete, I think you are the sweetest man in all the world. Yeah? Mm. Hmm? It is Janet Scott. He will not like to find you here. Anita? Hey, whose horse is that out there? Oh, it is mine. A friend just gave him to me. Oh. Well, I've got something better than that for you, baby. Just feast your eyes on this. Oh, it is beautiful. It's wonderful. But I cannot take it. No? No. Oh, all right, I'll keep it then. John, why haven't you come around to see me? I made you so much, and I'm so lonesome for you. Oh, now listen, baby. You just get yourself all dolled up, and we'll go out and buy you a real present. You know, if you cook me a little, then I can take the wash, too. John? You know, I think you're the sweetest boy in all the world. A ah, fine pal you are. As soon as my hands are tied, you try to steal my girl. What's the matter, Kansas? Didn't the rope necktie fit? You're a brave guy as long as my hands are tied. Oh, yeah? Say, what do you mean by breaking in on a lady's privacy like this? Privacy? Yes. Untie his hands, Juanita, and I'll teach him a few lessons in manners. Why, you... Wait!
your watch. Hey, and how about my bankroll? Oh, I almost forgot about it. It's a good thing you gave that back to me. I'm gonna knock you cold. Oh, my poor Kansas, are you hurt? Hurt? I should say not. Maybe I'd better count it, too. Maybe I'd better take charge of that gold. You boys are not to be trusted with so much money. And if either of you have any doubt about who's best man here, ask Juanita. Come on, get in that closet. Get moving. Now you have the money. You will take Juanita with you to Poker City, no? No. He's right. You hear what he said? He's heading for Poker City. Oh, you won't leave Juanita. Oh, you sure made a mess of things. What do you mean, the mess I made of things? I was doing all right till you came along. Oh, is that so? She was only consoling herself with you. You notice how she had it straight for me as soon as she found out I was alive. That's what you think. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have lost the money. Oh, yeah, and if you hadn't have come here, he wouldn't have got the money. I'd ought to smack you in the jaw for that. Well, I'd like to see you try it. Thanks. I will. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I wouldn't want to steal you away from them. Adios. Condenado bandido, ojalá que te orquen por allá donde quiera que... Get away with that. Sheriff, let's get out of here. like they've given us the slip. No, nah, no use failing them any further. Let's go back to Juanita's and question her. Come on. Well, I sure got us out of that scrape, didn't I, boy? Well, I'll say you did. And now that you got us out of it, I think we'd better split up. I'm going to Poker City and get that guy Pete and my bankroll. Well, there's no use you heading for Poker City. I'll take care of Pete myself. But I'll travel in style on the stage. Well, you sap, they'll get you for sure. Who, me? Not the Reverend Smith, my boy. They will never question a doctor of divinity. <laughs> well, so long, Moses, and I hope you get out of the wilderness. Ah, 
a noble defender of the law. Oh, it's a nice enterprising little city you have here, Sheriff. Yes, it is. I don't believe I got your name. Oh, pardon me, Sheriff. I'm the Reverend Harry Smith from Rattlesnake Gulch. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you, Parson Smith. Plan on staying here long? Well, yes, sir. Uh, that is, if the climate agrees with me. You see, Sheriff, I, um, uh, I had a little recent throat trouble. I have to be real careful of my health. Yes, I reckon a change of climate is healthy. Now and then. What do you plan to do here, Parson? Well, uh, I kind of thought that maybe I'd, uh, well, well, one of my old congregation. You remember me, don't you, Jim? I'm the Reverend Smith. Yeah. How are you, Parson? Oh, I'm always glad to see one of my old friends. My boy? Ah, looks like we're going to have a new Parson, boys. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Huh? Oh, yeah. Anne, I want you to meet our preacher from Rattlesnake Gulch. How do you do? I'm pleased to meet you, Dr. Smith. I'm so glad to know that Jim associated with good companions during his stay in Rattlesnake Gulch. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Jim was a regular member of my congregation. As a matter of fact, he was one of my greatest contributors. Oh, it's so nice to know that. You see, Jim and I are orphans, and he's all the family I have. Well, I'll keep an eye on him, Miss Ann. Uh, the fact is, uh, I was hoping to get some of the boys together for a little prayer meeting tonight. And I would like to have Jim attend some of the uh, sessions. How about it, Jim? Uh, thanks, Parson. Hello, and Banner tried to help the state this morning. That's the fourth time this month. We got to do something about it. What does he look like? I didn't get a very good look at him. There's too many strangers around these parts. It's time we started investigating some of them. There's one of them now. Hey, you. Me? Yes, you. What's your name? John Jones. There's getting to be too many Joneses and Smiths around here to suit me. You better come on over to my office. I want to ask you a few questions. Oh, now, wait a minute, Sheriff. You can't put me in jail yet. I just got in town. Now, don't try to be funny. Is this the fellow that held up the stage? Well, I can't rightly identify him. You see, I didn't get a very good look at him. Sure, Sheriff, you got the wrong man. What? There's a fellow knows me. Hey, son. Come here a minute. You remember John Jones, don't you, Jim? Yes. Oh, sure. Jim's an old friend of mine from Rattlesnake Gulch. I just came over to pay him a visit. How are you, Jim? Well, be seeing you, Sheriff. Sure is good to see you again, Jim. You kind of took me by surprise. Uh, I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, well, uh, I gotta be going. I'll see you later, Scott. Uh, Ann, uh, I won't be home until late. That's all right, Jim. Mr. Smith will see me home. All right. Thanks a lot, miss, but the name is Jones. I said Smith. And if you'll pardon me, I'm going to lock up Mr. Jones. I'm waiting for Mr. Smith. Well, in that case, I guess we'll both wait for him. Well, you needn't trouble. Oh, it's no trouble. I haven't anything else to do. Couldn't you find some other place to do it? Well, I could, but you wouldn't be there. Is there anything you want? Sure. What's in those bottles? Nerve tonic. But you don't need any. No, but my horse does. He's all run down. I think I'll take one. Let me see now. Well, well, well. Just what I've been looking for. 
You think they'll fit? Well, I'm sure I don't know. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I hope that's all. Well, come to think about it, uh... I think I'll take another bottle of that nerve tonic. My horse is pretty well run down. Shall we dance? Well, I'm right on time. Well, you couldn't have come any too soon to suit me. <laughs> oh, well, if I thought it meant that much to you, I could have been here long before this. Well, well, well. So this is the Parson Smith. Jones is my name, Doctor. How do you do? But haven't I seen you someplace before? It was at a party. A farewell party. You were going away. But come now, Doctor, what can we do for you? I have it. How about a necktie? It'd look very becoming with that outfit. Will you stop this nonsense so we can pick these things up and close the store? Oh, are we ready to go? And just where do you think you're going, Mr. Jones? Oh, well, you can come along, Mr. Smith. That is, if the young lady doesn't mind. I wish I had your nerve, Mr. Jones. That's easy. Why, you... Don't say it. Wait a minute. If it's going to cause all this trouble, you both can take me home. I'm telling you, Pete, I don't like the looks of things. It was bad enough when Kansas Charlie showed up, and now John Scott's here. They must know something. We gotta quit this racket. So they followed us. You forget, they're still wanted for the murder of Farnsworth. And if I should tell them that you done it... Oh, you wouldn't do that, Pete. No, not as long as we're still partners. When does that next gold shipment go out? Saturday. Meet you here Saturday. Don't tell me you're back for more nerve tonic. You were in here five times yesterday and three times the day before, and you've just about cleaned me out. Perhaps you'd better try soothing syrup for a change. Well, no thanks. I think I'll leave that to Parson Smith. As a matter of fact, I came in here looking for him. Well, good morning, Dr. Smith. I was just looking for you. Yeah? Looks like it. No, this is on the level. I've got to talk to you. Can you pardon us, Ann? Certainly. I just saw Jim riding out the desert trail with a man that looked like Pete. And I figure if we take a ride out that way, we might get our dough back. Hey, is this the straight goods? Absolutely. Well, all right, let's go then. Now, let's get this straight. I'll cover the stage from here. You go in and clean up the passenger. And you climb up and get the strong box. Right? Get moving! Somebody coming! You take after them, I'll stop the coach. Oh, 
split up here. I'll meet you in town. young man, you sure saved our lives. Well, did they get anything? Yes, my watch and money. Well, that's too bad. I'll drive you on into town. Uh, Jim, I didn't think you'd get mixed up in a thing like this. Pete made me do it, and he made me take the stuff. Oh, Pete, eh? So this is his stuff. Please don't tell Ann. No, I won't tell her. You helped me out of a little jam with the sheriff when I landed here. Besides, Pete's the man I'm after. Maybe this will kind of even things up. You tell Pete we'll just call that interest. And if you want my advice, you'll stay away from Pete. Or you'll find yourself dangling on the wrong end of a rope someday. Thanks, Kansas, for letting me go. Ah, uh, don't thank me. Thank your sister. Take care of the driver. Sheriff, we certainly owe that young man a vote of thanks. He drove off the bandits. I'm sorry. I was wrong about you, Jones. Oh, that's all right, Sheriff. Well, folks, we certainly took care of that situation. Wait a minute, Sheriff. These men are wanted for murder over at Rattlesnake Gulch. They killed Farnsworth, held up the stage, are now trying to pass themselves off as heroes. I don't believe it. Sheriff, my watch and chain. You're under arrest. I wasn't so wrong after all. Lock them up, boys. What do you think of that, eh? Will it come off the box? I'll notify the sheriff at Rattlesnake Gulch. Yeah, I would if I were you, Sheriff. Now look at the jam you got us into. I got us into? Where'd you get that watch? I took it off of Jim. He and Pete pulled that hold up. I turned him loose. Oh, big-hearted Charlie. You turned him loose and landed us right in jail. I landed us in jail? Say, smart guy, why did you bring that stage into town? But I didn't steal the stage. It's just a little matter of property rights that you wouldn't understand. Oh. I wouldn't understand. Do you mean to insinuate that I'm dumb? No. Dumber. Why, you... Oh. Oh. What's the matter, sis? The sheriff arrested John in Kansas today for stage robbery and murder, and they're talking about hanging them. I don't believe they had anything to do with it. I'm sure they didn't, but how are we going to prove it? You're mighty fond of one of them, aren't you? 
Oh, don't you worry, sis. You go on home and get some sleep. I'll close the store for you. All right, Jim. I'll be home later. All right. She sure is a swell girl. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Shut up and give me those saw blades. We got plenty to do before morning. Oh, good morning, Miss Ann. Good morning, Sheriff. Uh, I wonder if it'd be all right if I came over a little later to talk to John in Kansas? Oh, that'll be all right. We were just taking him over some breakfast. Thanks. I have to go to the store, but I'll be right back. A couple of horses at the other end of the street. Now take it easy and they'll never suspect it. But they're gone. the way. Let's rush them. in the back room. There's Pete. We've got to get him and make him talk. It's our only chance. Tell 
up the bank. They took the road to the river. Let's get mounted, boys. You draw his fire from the front while I get around back. See if you can bring Pete to and make him talk. What happened, sis? Did John and Kansas get to the river shack all right? They got away. The sheriff and posse are after them. Oh, you, you gotta stop them. John and Kansas are innocent. I shot Farnsworth. Pete framed it all. He made me help him hold up the stage. When he wanted me to rob the bank, I told him I was through. I was going for the sheriff when he shot me. Jake, come with me. Which way did he go? If I do bring him to, he won't be able to talk. Shut up and get busy.
told me that he and Pete held up the stage. Pete framed the whole thing. John and Kansas are innocent. That's right, Sheriff. I heard the confession. It was Pete who robbed the bank, too. Stop hiring, boys. Tommy, you come with us. They've quit firing. Probably getting ready to rush us. Well, we're all out of ammunition. Uh, that means we'll have to give ourselves up. Oh, if I could only make this guy talk. Dan with the sheriff. Let him in. All right, sheriff, we give up. I'm sorry, boys, I made a mistake. Jim has confessed. All right, men, bring him out. Well, I gotta be getting back to Juanita, so I'll have to rush this. Do you, Anne, take this man, John, to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you, John, get out of here. I want this thing to be legal. <laughs> 